Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the budget video list. I have done a video before which can you find in the upper right corner where I talked about budget decks that you can craft for the current and upcoming meta. Today I want to talk about mainly the shop and about the things you can buy there uh, and if you should buy them, which you should buy, that is what we are focusing on today. And there will be more videos in this series talking about other aspects of uh, the game when it comes to the budget, to the gems economy, but we will get to the, that in another video. So let us go uh, to the shop and I do not want to start with the packs, I want to start uh, with the structure decks first. So structure decks, are they worth buying? And of course, and that is uh, true for everything that you can see here this is always an individual question so if you want to like build a cyber dragon deck uh, and the cards you need are in the structure deck then of course it makes total sense to buy three of them to have the cards um, in general i treat the structure decks more of um, like places where i can get cheap ultra rares from uh, let's uh, let me give you an example burning spirits uh, when i want to play a math mech the math mech deck i need a triple uh, silent Mining and I could get Silent Mining from a booster pack but I can also just buy three of the structure decks for 1500 gems and then have three Silent Mining and that is a really good deal as you have to imagine um, you are buying like five packs for 500 gems and uh, the chance to get this special card this specific card in these five packs of a booster pack where this is in uh, are like really, like really low. So here you are guaranteed to get this card, whereas in the packs you will not uh, be guaranteed to get it. Maybe you will get one or if you are lucky, two other ultra rares in like 500 gems, like two ultra rares in 500 gems, that's like um, pointing really high. If you are lucky, you might get them. If you get three, then you theoretically could like decraft the three and craft these and you would have been even. And if you like have the crazy thought that you can get four ultra rares in uh, five packs of cards then that would have been a better deal than just buying the structure deck but as you can already hear from my um, like from my example uh, this is very unlikely so if you have a specific ultra rare that you need uh, that is in one of the structure decks go for it buy the structure deck buy it three times as you can and it will always be worth it even though you only need let's say one ultra rare for the math mech deck you can also to use this ultra rare so that's an even better deal but yeah one ultra rare is enough to buy a structure deck three times if you really need it in your main deck so then in this moment the structure decks are a good deal but of course and that's uh, what i'm saying this is also individual if you want to play like uh if you want to play the Salamangre deck, then it obviously makes sense to buy uh, three of these. The structure decks are mainly a good deal because they are super cheap and they give you a lot of cards. So you can basically not go wrong with buying these. But if you want to craft a specific deck, it's always worth to check out the structure decks just to see if in any structure deck there is a specific card you need. Uh, for the pendulum archetype, you sometimes need this guy, for example, and then you could save you some ultra rare crafting points to get the structure decks. So these are a pretty good offering out of the shop. The accessoires in terms of being a budget player, of course, are not worth it. Uh, I won't talk about uh, if you want to have your favorite blue eyes or your Gaia the Fierce Knight. This are your favorite uh, like monsters of all the time. Back in the old days, you always watch the, the anime and Kaiba was your favorite character. So you want your blue eyes as a pet. Go for it, that makes total sense. But from a budget, uh, wanting to maximize your gems, wanting to maximize your good decks, the decks you can play, meta decks, with um, yeah, like using your resources optimally, you would never go for anything in this category, not for the dual fields, not for protectors, not for icons, monster art, or card cases. Um, that being said, uh, I myself bought sometimes, uh, like I bought the um, sprite, um, uh, the sprite protector because 100 gems that's all right but when it comes to the dual fields 600 gems that's quite a lot or like 500 for the Gaia that also is quite a lot for 500 more you can get 10 packs of cards which is then worth more so in theory never go for these otherwise if you really want them then of course you can go for them 
And then we come to the special category. Uh, deck slots you um, don't really need. Uh, of course, if uh, you have so many decks and you don't want to like destroy the deck lists, then go for it and uh, buy an additional deck slot. But I think there are so many deck slots available um, that you always can fill them up uh, or that you always cannot fill them up. And even if you fill them up, then maybe delete a deck and yeah, then you have another free space. But of course, you could buy one for 250 gems. That's not the end of the world. The dual pass, of course, um, I think everyone knows this. But if you don't, uh, this is the best deal that you can get in the shop. I think this um, upgrade uh, to the dual pass gold, it costs you 700 gems which you get back just from the dual pass and um, you also get all of these things from the dual pass gold. So all in all from the dual pass you get 120 crafting points ultra rare because this is the important resource that's in here and those are four free ultra rares that's super good. Um, that is super worth it. Um, this is a must buy. This is a no brainer because the 700 that you invest to get this dual pass gold, you will get right back. The only um, like situation in which this maybe isn't worth it is if you are not playing that much. But the pass runs for 60 days and I think it's not really hard to get to level 100 in 60 days. Um, but yeah, if you don't play much and end up only ending up on level 20 or something in the dual pass, then you might not want to buy the gold dual pass version. But otherwise, this is by far the best deal in the shop. And I am shocked that Konami is still offering this. All of this, all of these rewards for 700 gems, they could like charge 2000 gems. And I would still buy this because 120 uh, or 100 ultra rare craft points are worth so much. These are three random ultra rares that you can craft or like chosen ultra rares and if you think about it if you otherwise want three free ultra rares you basically would need to decraft three other ultra rares so you basically get nine ultra rares worth of points here that you can then choose three specific ultra rares that you want and need to craft them and you have still 10 uh, ur crafting points left so this is an awesome offer always go for it then we have this special section here. We will talk about uh, the secret and selection packs in a moment, but uh, let me talk about the first anniversary bundle. This, of course, is something for the first anniversary and it, is, uh, it will leave in five days. Um, but let's just analyze this offering because there will be other offerings here. And I just want to uh, point out really quick to you if something like this is worth it. So in this specific case, I would say do not buy this package here. Um, the only reason to buy this is if you are really like the Dark Magician style, you like this board, you want the Dark Magician uh, ultra rare because you always play the Dark Magician deck, then of course this can be worth it. But otherwise you are paying 3000 gems for 30 master packs, which by far is the worst pack that you can get because uh, in this pack there are cards from all other packs, like every card that's in the game is in here. So if you want a specific ultra rare that you often want for your deck, you will most likely not be able to get this out of this pack. So this is the worst pack by far. Spending 3000 to get uh, 30 of these, um, you could also do this in the shop. So that's not the good thing about this offering. So this only makes sense if you really want all the benefits. Um, and if you like calculate the benefits, then you could say this is worth it because uh, field normally costs 600 um, gems. This um, goes for like 200, uh, back for 100 and this icon thing here for like another 100. Then you have this special ultra rare for like, let's say 200. So you are getting a plus here. Um, but if you do not really need or do not really like or want the equipment, the accessories, then you should not go for this. This pack bundle here is a really bad deal. Um, and the accessoires are the only reason you should go and buy this deal. And um, yeah, on this front, you can analyze every other deal that comes in here in the special event category. The next thing are the bundles. And as you can see, I've purchased them all. This should already tell you uh, what my opinion about the bundles are. Uh, the bundles are super good. They uh, cost 700 gems and you get 10 of the master packs. As I already said, master packs are not really good, but um, paying 700 gems to get 10 of them, that's okay. And then uh, the good thing about this, of course, is that you get an f a free ultra rare and these are really good ultra rares. This is one of the best staple cards and uh, also is this. So these packs you can 
pretty much on every new account buy first and not be sorry about this. After that I would buy the Forbidden Droplet, after that I would buy Lightning Storm and Solemn Judgment is more of a niche stable card, uh, often run in like trap decks. But this is also a really solid card and I think every bundle here is worth picking up. Uh, the good thing is that this is not like t time locked or something that this won't go away so you don't need to buy it uh, at the start of your new journey or at the start of a newer account. But um, I would suggest you go and at least pick up these two because the Infinite Impermanence and the Ash you will basically use in nearly every deck the Ash even more than the Infinite Impermanence. So buying any of these you cannot really go wrong with. These are really good offerings. And for the last thing in the shop, let's come to the uh, secret and selection packs or what is called here the normal packs. As I already said, the master pack is super bad. Never buy these, like never ever buy the master pack. These are not worth it at all because they contain every card in the game. So if you want specific cards and that's basically all the time because you want to build a specific deck, you want specific cards, um, you will only with a little chance you will get these specific card out of the master packs. Otherwise you will get some other ultra rare, which then you have to decraft. And uh, then you basically have to do the three random ultra rare trade for one ultra rare you want um, because one ultra rare decrafted gives you 10 crafting points and you need 30 to get any ultra rare you want. So this is like the worst deal here in the shop. The old question is, should you buy secret packs or should you buy selection packs? And I want to quickly go over this with uh, you. Um, I have made a little calculation and we also want to take a look at uh, master dual meta. So just for understanding, like the selection packs are packs that are limited on time. So they mostly are staying in the shop for like 40 days, I think, and then they leave the shop. And the secret packs are packs that you can unlock. You can craft a super rare or an ultra rare out of this pack and then you will have unlocked the pack and it will stay for, I think, 48 hours. So for 48 hours you can then pull out of the secret pack and every time you pull out of the secret pack the time frame uh, becomes renewed so then you will again have it for uh, 48 hours and uh, the important thing to know about the secret packs is that they are um, always like theme specific as you can see with this secret pack here Alba Abyss um, this is all about the branded Despia theme all the ultra rares are basically branded Despia besides the Nadir servant and also the rares commons and normals are um, a lot of branded Despia cards there are some secret packs where you can find like in this case um, these are like nine ultra rares this is pretty rare most of the secret packs um, have normally th that's why I showed you this one or I want to show you this one most of the secret packs have four different ultra rares that you can get um, but they are also um, packs when they contain more than one archetype. So this pack, for example, contains the Mathmech archetype and the Sky Striker archetype. That's why you can see seven different ultra rares here. Uh, this for example only contains three different ultra rares so as you can see there are different secret packs with different ratios of ultra rares that they contain and that is important but um, like um, normally they will contain four ultra rares four different ultra rares and so let's go about uh, over a quick like calculation i did so what's important to know is that for secret packs you always get like eight cards but for secret packs the rule is that the first four cards are out of the master pack so they can be any card in the game and the um, fourth through eight card are from the secret pack so they could be any card that you can see here in the secret pack list. So right off the get-go you have to calculate this with a one in two chance because you only have a 50 percent chance if you get an ultra rare that you really get an ultra rare out of the secret pack and not out of the master pack in this calculation i have not like um, calculated the fact that yes if you get a random C a random ultra rare out of the master pack this could still be the ultra rare you want but the chances are super low so that's why I have not calculated it in this example but from the numbers I have oh, I will show you here we can see that one type of pack is actually better than the other so for example Let's say you want one specific ultra rare out of a pack and you are asking, okay, maybe there is a selection pack and there is a secret pack which contains this ultra rare. And it's important to point out that that is not always 
very rarely is the case that there are cards which you can pull out of a selection pack and a secret pack. So often you will not have to answer or to ask yourself the question, should I buy the selection or the secret pack? Because you can either only use the selection pack or the secret pack, so that's good for you. But in case, let's, let's imagine there would be a selection pack and a secret pack which contains the card you want, which one should you pick? So for example, let's say you want one specific ultra rare. So in case of a selection pack, and we will use the one in four chance, like we will pretend that the selection pack we want to pull from is a selection pack which contains four ultra rares, like most of them do, but not all of them. So if you uh, want to pull for your deck, it makes sense to go here to Master Duel Meta, check the secret packs and ch uh, check um, for how many ultra rares there are in this pack. So you want one card and you pull out of the secret pack, then you have a 12.5% chance to get this specific ultra rare. And for the selection pack, which contains like always, like the last three um, selection packs contained 13 ultra rares. And I think uh, this has been the case mostly um, for all the time. So we are uh, calculating here one uh, divided by 13 and we get a 7.7% chance of getting the one specific ultra rare that you want. So as you can see in this case, it makes more sense to uh, choose uh, the secret pack as you have a better chance of getting the ultra rare that you want. And uh, I have also calculated for you, let's say you have a s uh, secret pack that has seven different ultra rares, which is quite rare, then you would have a 7.14 chance to get your specific card. In this case, the selection pack would be better, but as you can like see from the calculation here, if you would have a one in six chance, uh, chance or a one in five chance, then the secret pack would still be better. And as I already said, there are not many secret packs that have seven ultra rares. Most most of them contain four. And let's say, for example, that there are two ultra rares that you could use out of the secret or the selection pack. Then you can see that you have a 25% chance um, of getting uh, the um, ultra rare from the secret pack, where you only would have a 15.38% chance to get it from the selection pack. So as you can see here by the pretty simple calculation, I do not want to calculate all the cases because there are of course different cases, but in most cases it makes more sense to go for the secret pack than it makes sense to go for the selection pack. But as I already said, um, this is a question you basically do not have to ask yourself that often. Let, let me give you an example. If you have the um, selection pack Sprites of Miracles and you want like the Sprite cards, then you have to go for this pack because the Sprite cards do not have a secret pack yet. And that is also important to know. You should never like have the thought that, okay, I will not buy the selection pack. I will just wait for the secret pack to then buy the Sprite cards. Because the reality is that uh, not every archetype gets a secret pack. So we have the Albus, um, Stra or Albus Abyss, where the Bernadespia cards got their um, secret pack. But let's say, for example, Flu on the Reese, um, they came out before uh, the Bernadespia cards came out, but to this day, they do not have a secret pack. So if you want to pull them, you have not a single pack where you can pull them from. So you would have been better off um, in, the, in the past to buy the selection pack. So if there is a selection pack that contains cards that you want, buy the selection pack because you are not guaranteed to get a secret pack with your archetype. Um, of course, if you have a secret pack like this and you really want to build, uh, to build Branded Despia, this is like one of the best secret packs you can get because out of the uh, nine different ultra rares that you can get here, eight of them you can use in your Branded Despia deck, which is super crazy and shows how good the secret pack can be. And I just want to show you another thing. Um, there will be often times where like I already said in the Flu on the Reese case, where you have no secret pack to pull from, which is pretty um, bad. I myself crafted the Labyrinth deck a few weeks ago, and uh, unfortunately there is no secret pack for Labyrinth. So you cannot get these cards and you cannot get like this card. 
um, that is pretty bad you cannot get the uh, welcome labyrinth so what I did and that is often the case that something like this is, it avail is available I used uh, the pack where elder entity and Tess is in and used the pack where solemn strike and solemn judgment is in this was particularly good because I needed the cards for the deck and the secret pack contained this ultra rare and this ultra rare and two other ultra rares so I had this 25% chance to get the ultra rares and out of one 10 pull I did I got this this and this which is super crazy I got three ultra rares uh, two of which I needed so that was a really crazy pull and it was super good because that was a good secret pack for me so that's it for the packs as I already said just to like get to a conclusion uh, when it comes to packs you have to like take a look take a look at which secret packs are available which secret packs contain how many ultra rares and maybe there is a selection pack which has the cards that you need but as I already said and um, there is a random or, or seldomly is there a crossover in which you have a selection pack with many cards that you need and secret pack with many cards that you need and then you have to choose between them in that case I would suggest just calculate it it's pretty simple like you saw in my case you can uh, calculate it with like basic elementary school math um, basically okay that's not elementary school math but you you catch my drift you get my point um, that it uh, that's it for the shop uh, for everything that you can get here in the shop uh, as I said I will make further videos on uh, this uh, specific subject which is um, uh, being on a budget and using your resources optimally that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and we will see each other in the next one.